Okay, this is Dragon of Eternity, and welcome to World of Warcraft Battle for Azeroth. Now, this isn't being recorded at the launch time, which would be 11 o'clock in the evening for the Brits, because I've heard while I was asleep that logging in was a hassle. Yeah, it was a major hassle. So luckily I avoided all of that by having a good night's sleep. And I hope you have too, viewer. <laughs> yeah. So I believe the... Hi, Magni. There's something I need to see, Magni. Okay. A dying world champion Azov be dying while the armies with the Horde and Lions be fighting over a ruined city. She needs your help. Make your way to me camp in Silithus. Azeroth's got something to give you. Meet Magna Bronzebeard in Silithus, located within Kalimdor. Now, I believe if you didn't do the War of Horns uh, event, and you didn't do the Battle for Lordaeron scenario, then you would have to do the Battle for Lordaeron scenario before you uh, get this quest. So in the previous videos I've done about the pre-patch, I have gone through the Battle for Lordaeron. And luckily, once you go through it on one character, you can skip it on the other ten. Which I thankfully can do. So let's see, take the portal to Uldum to be closer to Silithus. And then I just have to fly to Silithus. Oh sh Fly, 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 fly! I <laughs> That's something I really should have mentioned beforehand. I decided to be an idiot and turn on war mode. For that uh, experience boost. So that'll be interesting to have. <laughs> yeah. So it should calm down once I get to Zoldazar. And I guess for the outdoor stuff, uh, I just gotta be careful. Yeah. Uh, there's no sword in the. Oh no, don't tell me. Anchorage. Silphus. I have to go to Zodormi to turn it back to the present time. You know, I never actually turned it to the past. At least I don't think I did. So why it's in the Cataclysm version, I have no idea. Oh well. I guess if people have this issue as well, then it'll help them. Yeah. Hey, Wowhead's finally loaded. <laughs> For some reason, Wowhead and Twitch and every other bloody site's taking ages to load today. I don't know whether it's the internet, whether it's my PC, I have no idea. Luckily, Wow's working though, so fun times. Time traveling. Can I just right click this? No. Speak to Ronormu or Zadormi again. Where's Ronormu? No idea. Ah, well. Also, what have I got here? Currency, currency, high mountain tribe insignia. Oh, yeah, I still haven't got certain mounts with the bloody Legion reputations. I'm going to be going back to Legion sometime. Greetings. Uh, it's a dormy. Return me to the present. The There's the giant ass sword. Yay. The giant gnarly ass sword. Which my Ashbringer took in its power somehow. This artifact's power was sacrificed throughout the darkness from the Sword of Sogares and stabilized Azeroth's wounds. Yes, it did. And I wonder... Yeah, those quests, it's time left two days, what? I guess those quests are still up. Yeah. Mind you, I should be getting better gear in Zoldazar. So, dying world, meet Magni. Yeah, let me just get around this giant ass sword. The sword of a titan. Where are you? There you are. I think. Maybe. No. Where? I want to say he's there. Magni, where are you? There. 
Ooh, luckily there's a sanctuary. Hamilville Totem. Urban Ring Shaman. Scenarian Circle Druids. So you've got two of the faction people trying to help out here, or two of the Order Hall leaders. Maybe not the leaders, but you do have people helping. Azeroth, right, Magne. A dying world. You made it! We don't have any time to lose. The heart of Azeroth, and that gets me a much better necklace. Lovely. Oh, there's a nice little uh, blue thing on top of it. <laughs> so anyway, the heart of Azeroth. I will to die in Marikov. Salgaris' sword is cut deep. Her pain is driving the elements into a frenzy. Yeah, I noticed. I can hear Azeroth's voice, but she needs more than a speaker. She needs a champion. Far below us lies an ancient titan vault called the Heart... The, the Heart of the Chamber? The Chamber of Heart. I sense she wishes to speak to you there. Come with me into the chamber. Maybe the only chance to save her. Travel to Chamber of Heart and commune with Azeroth. Remember, your entrance to the chamber is this way. Come on! Okie dokie. And into the Titan Translocator, which mysteriously appeared for some reason. Ooh! Well, look at that, you've been impaled. I believe I made that joke oh, of beta too. The chamber is in ruins, <laughs> champion. It won't hold together for long. Well, give me a minute, buddy. Con multiple containment breaches registered. Recommend exper... Expurgation? Expurgation? Our following facilities. Ulderman. Uldum. Uldorus. Uldroar. Uldir. Uldaz. Uld. 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 We have never heard of Uldorus and we have never heard of Uldaz. Uldir, I think, is in Zuldazar. Uh, that'll be fun. No, nothing else. I could have sworn you said it's a different dialogue. There we go. Subject Azov. Major Arifemia detected. Vitals exceeding acceptable parameters. Attempting to update incident reports. Error. 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 Well, that's great. Yeah, I guess that's the only thing you say. I'm sure you say a third thing, but, uh, well. Let's see. Witness the past events on Titan Console Optional. Titan Console has a series of data entries displayed on it. You can select one to view. View events that led to Azeroth's wound. And this shows you the cinematic after you beat Argus the Unmaker on a difficulty in the Antorus raid. Return home. Children of Azeroth. I might as well catch up and see what happened. If I know what happened. We've done all we can. Every choice. Every sacrifice has led me to this moment. To face him once again. Um you Illidan? It took about 10 to 25 of us to face a weakened titan who had, like, eons of torture and power drained onto it. How are you, a single demon hunter, gonna fight a full-powered titan? How? Ugh. Seriously, what does Illidan think he's going to do? Interesting to know that there's no power from Salgaris' uh, seat. Brother, well, I guess since he's here. Your crusade is over! Hi, Salgaris. I expected you to be more green.
And that's the solo that stabs Silithus. Yeah, I'm surprised that an object like that hitting the planet didn't cause an extinction event. So there's a soul stuck in a planet, and it's him being pulled away to the seat of the Pantheon by a magical tractor beam. And we somehow slip through his fingers. Can't <laughs> wonder about that. Okay, seriously, what do you plan on doing, Yelatin? He's a fucking titan! Sure, he's trapped on a seat. Possibly, but... That's a good point. Is he actually trapped on a seat? You know, like, restrained... Chains? Or is he just, you know, free to walk about the seat of the Pantheon? We don't know the shit! And there's the sword sticking at Isilophus. So yeah, as of the titan... Well, Soul got stabbed by that. And now we're in this situation. Our world needs us, I hear the cries as of beneath my feet. As of trembles in pain, we must find a way to ease the suffering. What does Azeroth want to me, Magni? Azeroth calls to you, champion. She offers a gift. One born of her own essence. The very heart of Azeroth. Is she literally giving us a heart? Her heart is a crater, and we have filled it. Infuse this amulet with power. It might be the only way to save her. Okay, okay. Azeroth cries the heart of Azeroth. Pain. That's the key to healing the runes. Equipped harder, the energy of Oaz, right? Awakening exponential pieces of armor that possess talent powers. A living symbol of hope, born by the champions of a dying planet. The fate of Azeroth will be shared by all her children. Okay, so 225. 228. And then, ooh. Ooh, ooh, You're just giving me upgrades at this point, aren't you? Uh huh. Uh, let's see, infusing the heart. Wait, what? Oh, Azeroth power. Surprised that's not, that's not around here. Ah, oh, well. So let's see, infusing the heart. Azeroth's voice is growing fainter and fainter. If the seal on this chamber shatters, her soul will be lost. We've got one chance to save us all. Absorb the Azerite around the chamber into the heart of Azeroth. Unleash the amulet's power to seal that crack in the center of the seal. Azerite can bear destructive force, but it, it, but if channeled through the amulet, it can heal the wound. Absorb Azerite and to empower the heart of Azeroth. Remember your seal on this chamber okay, okay. protects the world's soul, but with all this Azerite bursting through, the seal is close to shattering. You use your amulet to absorb the Azerite. Its power. Should mend the chamber seal. Okay, okay. Boom. 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 And finally, boom. Use the heart of Azeroth to seal the bend. Or to mend the seal, even. Okay, okay. Ooh. So I guess it's just floating here then. Alright. That's it! I think it's working! Just a wee bit more! No! The seal is shattering! Hold on, lass! Please, hold on! <laughs> 
Where did... Where did the Power of the Legion voice come from? So I guess... This is okay for now, maybe? Oh, I see there was someone there with it. Okay. Our world needs us, champion. So let's see, that was too close. Now you've seen the true power of the Heart of Azeroth. But we've got a long way to go before the world is healed. Yes, we do, Magna. Yes, we do. So, let's see. Item level-wise, that would be best to replace. Ah, goodbye. Imperial Breastplate, which I created and then brought up to 215. And, boom. That's the right item. Equip the Azerite armor to be empowered by the heart of Azeroth. Okay. A new power is available. Right shift to click. Ooh. Uh, let's see. Your spells and abilities have a chance to increase all secondary stats by 10 for one minute, stacking up to four times. Or your Blade of Justice critical hits cause the target to burn for an additional amount of holy damage every two seconds over six seconds. Uh, I think I'll go for the secondary stats for now. Am I able to switch this on the fly? Hmm, I have no idea. Oh well. Requires Heart of Azeroth level 2, and we'll go from there. So what does that actually look like? Uh, let's see, how am I going to do this? Shirt. Tabard. Uh, that's what it looks like, apparently. Well, can Boop. And boop. I think I'll start to lose the transmog from this. It's really only for the battle lo order on. So, let's see then. The wild soul is secure. For now. I can hear Azeroth again, for the voice is still weak. The immense on the surface of above have calmed down. Even using just a fraction of its power, the heart of Azeroth brought stability to this place. You need to return to Orgrimmar and inform your allies of what transpired here. Remind them that no matter what happens in their war, our world must be saved. We'll speak again soon, Marikov. The battle of Azeroth has only just begun. Speak with Nathan's Black Caller in Ogumar. That amulet close to your heart, champion. I will. will see you through the dark times ahead. I'll keep searching for ways to heal the damage done to Azeroth. When I have need of you, I can reach out through that talisman. I may be her speaker, but you are her champion, and she needs you to fight for her. Well, hero, you've got work to do. The teleportation pad will take you back to your allies. Good luck to all of us. Aye, aye, Magni. Aye, aye. Azeroth cries out in pain. Welp. That's a thing. Boop. Return to Ogmar. And we've got... If I go to the Founders Black Caller, we've got one quest to hang it, hand in, and then I think I'll try and do the Alliance version. Although, technically, it is the exact same quest. <laughs> yeah. Out with it. Speak is imperative. It would seem you're in the right place at the right time, Marikov. This heart of Azeroth the Dwarf gave you may prove useful indeed, but the war must remain at our focus. We can spare no forces to aid Magni on his Grand Crusade. Grand Crusade is trying to save the bloody planet. The Alliance will stop at nothing to destroy the Horde. Fortunately, the Dark Lady has a plan to make us stronger. Oh. Mission Statement. Come, Marikov. The War Chief has summoned us to undertake a mission of utmost secrecy. The very future of the Horde is at stake. I suggest we do not keep her waiting. And I believe that is the Horde introduction. So, yeah, I'm going to keep this for next episode, since it might take a bit. And I'm going to take a look at Z. 
Heart of Azeroth on the Alliance character. There's probably going to be no changes, but I kind of just want to get out of the way. Yeah, wh when Magni says, hold on, lass. Champion, Azeroth cries out for your aid. Come to Silithus. There's something you need to see. Yeah, I'll be with you in a minute, Magni. At your service. I will do what is asked. Yeah, I'll do. Um, that'll do. The light guides my sword. And Tabby Dozy. And I would like those. Shit. I am the There's no way to get a good percentage on that. Yeah. Nothing can hide from the light. And Okay, so to st to Silphus then. A dying world. I need to remember how to get there quickly on the Alliance side. Let's see, I believe it's a Stormwind to... It's a Stormwind. It's to pull the Stormwind, then the portal to Uldum. So, Stormwind's around here, right? Aye. Now luckily I can just skip through this stuff. So I don't only have to watch the cutscene. So the cataclysm portals should be next to the panda portals. I think. Maybe. Boat to Baralis, boat to Borean Tundra, pull the pod on Village Jade Forest. I never did the Alliance version of Jade Forest. Hmm. See, so just here. And then hopefully the sword spawned this time. You know, hopefully I don't have to go back to this dormy. Hopefully I don't get killed by these guys since I have Warmo turned on for this as well. The sword is there, lovely. So yeah, I kind of want an extra experience in Zildazar. And Bar Baralis, I guess. I don't know if I'm actually going to have any time to record the Alliance side. I would like to, but uh, I'll just have to see how things go. I would like to do a zone on the Horde, then a zone on the Alliance, then a, Z then a zone on the Horde, zone on Alliance. You know, just have it back to back. Would be nice. And then, war campaign on one side, war campaign on another. And then, I guess it's really just any optional stuff. I know there's a craft on a side quest, so that's going to be a thing. <laughs> so I just need to see a magnet. Yeah, I would like to see if there's any differences on the Alliance side. There's probably not, but... Eh, would be nice. So yeah, I just gotta keep going forward. The source of power. Oh yeah, there were quests which I skipped. Oh. This is taking a while. <laughs> yeah. Do 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 do. It does take a while to fly, though. <laughs> yeah, I really need to be careful of war mode. As soon as I hit max level, turn that shit off. <laughs> I've already had a few death experiences when leveling, leveling lower level characters. So let's say Magne! Hello! Yeah, I made it. We don't have any time to lose. I won't be dying. Get into the chamber. To the chamber is this way. Okay. So I think the only difference might be who I talk to after the whole Magni situation. Yeah, maybe. Oh, this chamber is in ruins, champion. It won't hold together for long. Yeah, long story short, so Gareth stops the planet. Give me that Azeroth necklace. Calls to you, champion. She offers a gift. One born 
of our own essence. The very heart of Azeroth. Her heart is a crater and we have filled it. Infuse this amulet with power. It might be the only way to save her. You know, I don't get why we don't actually have the amulet on us. You know, it would be a nice uh, aesthetic thing. Cosmetic, champion. even. Have a heart, and let's see. 220, 210, 215. I'll go for the helmet this time. shattering. You use your amulet to absorb the Azerite. Its Boop. power should mend the chamber's seal. Boop. Boop. And... No. <laughs> Requires you to be in the center of the major Azerite breach. Alright, alright. Not exactly in the center, but uh, this will do. That's it. I think it's working. Keep going. Just a wee bit more. No, the seal is shattering. Hold on, lass. Please hold on. You did it, champion! The chamber is secure! Lovely. Azeroth so I said I was going to take the helmet this time. Let's see. Boom. Boom. I just realized it's kind of the same as the, uh... The light stuff in the... Uh, and Taurus, maybe. Alright, so I'll go for that. It's... Hmm, that would actually be good, too. <laughs> Casting... Crusader Strike increases the damage of your Crusader Strike. By 69 for 10, 20 seconds, stacking up to 10 times. So if I just kept doing that and that... Oh, I should have picked that. Oh well. So the Inspeak is imperative. The world's soul is a cure, for now. I can hear Azov again, for her voice is so weak. The element stills on the surface above have calmed down, even using just a fraction of its power. The heart of Azov brought stability to this place. You need to return to Stormwind and inform your allies of what transpired here. Remind them that no matter what happens with the Horde, our world must be saved. We'll speak again soon. The battle for Azov has only just begun. Return to Stormwind City. Keep that amulet close to your heart, champion. It'll see you through the dark times ahead. I'll keep searching for ways to heal the damage done to Azeroth. When I have need of you, I can reach out through that talisman. Okay. I may be her speaker, but you are her champion, and she needs you to fight for her. Well, uh, hero, oop. you've got work to do. The teleportation pad will take you back to your allies. Good luck to all of us. Aye, aye. Aye, aye. Alright, so I want you. I'll eventually get rid of this stuff, but the helmet's always staying hidden. So, what am I looking for here? These two still say nothing. Ah, well. Whoa! Why did I get dismounted? Did I click it again by accident? What the... Excuse me! Uh-huh. Well, that was weird. Uh-huh. Right, Halford Wormbane. Wormbane listens to your tale. The heart of Azeroth, a powerful artifact indeed. Thank the light you are there to aid Magni. But I fear I bear dire news, my Ashna. 
While you were away, the Horde launched a brazen attack on Stormwind. I have a message for you from King Anduin. You must keep. You must meet him at the keep at once. Champion, an urgent war council is underway. Your presence is requested in Stormwind Keep. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll, I'll do this eventually. <laughs> uh, tell you what. Boom. And I'll get the quest again when I log on. Okay, so this has been Dragon of Journey going through World of Warcraft Battle for Azeroth in this video, this shortish video, I hope. I showed off getting the Heart of Azeroth and showing what you can do with it. You get a certain Azerite armor and you can have new traits. It's a bit like the legendaries. So, yeah. In the next episode, I will be going through... I kind of want to put the Horde intro and the Horde uh, zone at... at but what am I trying to say here? I want to put the Horde intro scenario and the first Horde leveling zone with each other. So I'll be going through the Horde intro and the Horde uh, area first. And then I'll be doing the intro on the Alliance character and going through the first Alliance zone. And then I'll uh, switch it up every now and then. So, yeah. And with that plan, viewers, until next time.